Free heals? Yeah, pretty much. Everyone has some sort of life steal. Is that Marcus? Wait, 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 wait. Why is that guy attacking? What? Oh, you can't swim either? Oh, that's Take unfortunate. Strength. I've seen that creature before. Whoops. It was cold and without breath. The empty shell of a man. Its very existence a mockery to my goddess. <laughs> Don't we mock your old missus as well, Crusader? You understand nothing, foolish woman. This is but a test of faith. Okay. We should be using that apparently a lot more than I am. Gravity? Gravity is such a fickle mistress. Okay. Valkyrie says, did I miss it? Uh, no. I mean, we're still very much exploring this area. Bro. 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 Sink bar is super full. Uh, don't think I can get that yet. Dude was cheesing me? Yeah, man. Well, well, well. Look over there. An essence answer. Goddess. It was just a bloody kid. Wait. What's what's this? Oh, oh, it's 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 like something's drawing me and won't bloody relent. Hmm. So you feel it as well? Are we gonna get like a spell caster? That could be kinda cool. I'm Tekri Haudai, servant of Goddess Life, and the youngest person ever to join the Essence Mancers. Oh god. Oh jeez. Whoa, he is like a pastor. Oh, that's cool. He throws boogers. Ew. Spellcasting produces heat that decays over time. Casting spells at full heat will trigger an overheat explosion that deals damage to you and nearby enemies. Oh, jeez. Look, I do got better. See? Oh, get away from it. But look, Papa, he's all better now. I met him well again. No, how die, my dear. Listen to your Papa. Get away from it, please. No, Papa, I cured him. I can play with him again, see? I missed him so much. Back then, before I understood my abilities for what they truly were, my own father would have had me believe I was cursed. I make sense. You're a necromancer. <laughs> I can see it. 
Yep. What you're reading, little brother? Oh, uh, hi, Quianlun. Well, this one's Moses Sechula's history. It relates to the last days of the first civilization and the decline of the great cities. I know this you voice. You contradict Friar Sanchez's body of work. Can you believe it? He theorized that humankind must have lost their immortality overnight. Can you even imagine, sister? One minute, you're eternal. There are people in the world who have seen the dawn of time. Think of all the knowledge they must have gathered. And then it was all taken from them in the blink of an eye. It sounds like Bob's Burgers. It kind of does. You little bookworm. You know, father's really worried. The healer thinks this disease connected to your abilities. I am so sorry, little brother, but it may not have a cure. If it would, raise you to church. Then you're going to protect me, right, sis? I take care of you, and you keep teaching me that interesting stuff. Deal? My condition left me deformed and with blisters spreading over my skin, so father didn't want the other villagers to see me. I had only my books and my sister, Kian Luna's company. Man, they really went all in with the lore in this game. What is this, father? You're sending me away? These men are here to take you to the Reparation Monastery. They're willing to do whatever is in their power to rid you of your condition. And what if they cannot, Father? That's church. What do you think they'll do? It is for your own good, son. You are not taking her time! Poldai is an Essence Mancer spellcaster. Spellcasting produces heat that decays over time. Casting spells at full heat will trigger an overheat explosion. Corruption orb, acid pool, corruption enchantment, or curse of decay. Wow. That's good, but man, that heat goes down real slow. So I'm wondering if they're, I wonder if the, the thing with this guy is that you use his heat and then you switch to someone else while it recovers. So this entire character is like a timed alpha blast almost, which is interesting. Huh. Yeah, it's becoming more and more obvious that the game does not want you to, like, main a character. The point of the game is going to be to use all of the characters in the in the best way that you can. Is this backwards? It's backwards. What you reading, little brother? Oh, yeah. uh, I can learn. Was it this way or am I going backwards again? I think we came around that top part there, right? Maybe not. Kian Lun was badly go. hurt, but we managed to escape Klingazar. We traveled until we reached the kingdom of Krulisgon. sister is going to be fine. She has a remarkable will to live. Thank you. That's all right, boy. You're allowed to feel. What you did was very courageous, and nothing short of a miracle. That you managed to keep her alive all the way from Klingazar. and life herself must be working through you. It is Haudai, correct? Yes. Pleased to meet you, Haudai. I'm Solon. By the way, I missed it. Uh, my last my last shout out. But big thank you to our friends at Tate Multimedia for sponsoring the two-hour look at the stream. This is Deathborn. This is a game that just came out or will be coming out very soon. Uh, if you want more information, you can find it at code.tv slash deathborn. It is kind of a, a, a it's a souls-like that has 
a definite attempt at like the or Deathbound. I'm sorry, Deathbound. Um, Deathbound is is a Souls like that has. It's making an attempt at like taking the combat system to kind of a next level, um, where it's trying to do like this multi class approach that we're still we're still very much discovering, but it definitely is doing something new. So. Yeah. They were called the Essence Mancers as an affront by some who didn't approve the use of their powers. Tate Multimedia is the sponsor. Yep. We liked the name. We embraced it. Yeah, multi-class approach, kind of. Yeah, it's 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 definitely. We'll go over it more when we get back into combat, but it's Solon it's interesting. Says we must be heading out soon. He says we have a very important purpose, and must not waste our time. Is that so? And what purpose is that? Forgive me, sister, but I promise not to say anything about it. I'll send instructions on how to find us as soon as I can. Good, because you better believe I'll find you. Are there different classes? I'll show you here in a minute. Remember our promise to each other? I still but yes, have much to learn. Yes, there are. And apparently you soon will have much to teach. Oh, Kian, I'll miss you so much. Hush now. This is no goodbye. I'll see you again soon. I hope you can forgive Father one day. Kian Lun went back to Klingazar. As for me, my home was no longer there. Mine became the free city of Akratia, where the glorious first civilization once rose, and where it fell. Mm. When you... ah! Whoa, he's overheated. Remarkable, son. If you keep on training with Aetalos, perhaps you'll become an even better reanimator. And you must keep seeking the knowledge of the first civilization. For that, you can count on a learner, the expert on all things regarding the first ones. The essence on this one remains corrupted. Indeed. I believe it's the recipient that's the problem. We got the best we could out of our flesh dolls. Time to step up. I'm proud of you, son. Together, we'll accomplish the unthinkable. Wolf Pipster. Together, we'll bring back the gift of immortality. Oh. Thank you, Wolf Pipster. Really appreciate you, buddy. Mainly watch on it, but popped in to use my prime sub. Thank you, thank you. So it's we're starting to get sides here. So the death guys believe and worship death. They're all about dying and returning your essence. These guys are working on immortality. So these guys are working on the opposite of the Death God, which makes sense why that cult would want to destroy the them. The Essence Mancers became my family, yep. and Solon like the father I never had, one who accepted me for who I was. Hey, T-Cat, how you been? Good show. My head. Rakov, thank Hear you, me now, splitting. You will tell me how to break this curse. What? Who are you? How are you doing this? Brilliant. Of all the bloody mangers around here, it seems we stumbled upon a clueless pop. Wait, who? Welcome to the party, kid. So, the way that this game works is you have these different characters. Now, interestingly enough, this is the first time we've ever seen this thing here at the top, where we now have um, conflicts. So, apparently, Theron and Heldai, Haudai, do not work well together, but they gain tolerances and minus move speed. However, Haudai and Anna get well together, so we get max health. So I think what's going to happen is we're eventually going to get more than four people, and we have to essentially, like, pick our team, maybe? I don't even know, like, but it's clearly it's clearly something crazy going on here. Um. Hmm. Yeah.
Okay. And what's also really cool, and, and this is this is one of the reasons that this game is not like a pick your class game, it's use all things. So check this out. Your health and your stamina are tied together. So you can see it doesn't go all the way back up, or it does go back all the way to the top because I have full health, but if I only had half health, then it would go to only halfway. And that's a huge deal, right? But the Y button on your controller automatically switches to another character that has max stamina. So if I do two light attacks, then Y, I switch to him. If I do two more attacks with him and hit Y, then I switch to him. If I do attack with him, then hit Y, it goes back to him because he now has the most. While you're a different character, all of your attacks heal the other characters. So when you're maining a character, then you're healing the other ones. You can see also the, the, the heat is going down on the spellcaster, so we're essentially charging him. And then on top of that, as you're attacking, you're building up your sync bar, and then during combos, you can switch to have more effects. So at while you're attacking, if the sync bar is full, then you can switch mid-combo and do stuff from there. And then it's also important to mention that every character has totally different RB, LB buttons. So like this character, this rogue, her light attack is that. Her heavy attack is not a heavy attack. It's a jump attack, which is a different thing. And then where this guy has an LB shield and an LT parry, this girl has an RB shoot and an LT reload. And then this character just has more spells. So if I'm thinking about this properly, I can buff with this character, switch to this character, still have the buff from the first character. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah. And what's even cooler about the whole thing is every character has a talent tree and a lot of the talents synergize to the whole character, not just the one you're using. So it's a cool system. Like there's no question they have put a lot of thought into this system. Um, you know, and I mean, that's that's cool. Like it, it, it feels and plays different. It, it's a Souls-like, no question, but there is clearly another level on top of the standard Souls-like, which is nice. My biggest concerns for this game would be the same things that I think come with most indie Souls likes, which are Souls likes traditionally need to have really, really solid combat, very quick and light and not clunky. And indie, in indie and even double A um, Souls likes are characteristically not super smooth. Like the indie indie games technically not technically indie games generally are like less less of that part of the game being the being the focus. So it's going to be interesting to see how they can kind of carry that theme through this one and see see if they can really make it. Like right now the combat feels pretty good to me. Feels pretty good. Um, but there's definitely a little bit of clunk in it. So I'm I'm wondering. It's very forgivable for me, but I'm wondering how that will be the general population. What is Viper's eye patch? 20% damage power when below 50% or 10% attack weight, which is like poise damage, I think, against corrupted enemies. Okay, we'll keep this for now. Uh, Science OP. Yep, the sound effects in this game are okay. But they're not, they're not, I wouldn't say they're great, but they're, they're, they're okay. They're okay. Um... Ooh, an explodey flask. There we go. All right, so this is not a memory we can use. Not a memory she can use. Ha. I appreciate you coming, Haldai. Oh, spare me. I'm only here out of respect for all that you've taught me. 
There's only one thing I wish to hear. Have you changed your mind? How oh, I, I... Then there's nothing more for us to say. I'm afraid so. I'm so sorry. What are you... Ah! She tried to kill me. Halurna? No, that can't be right. It makes absolutely no sense. Kate, <laughs> she didn't try. She bloody well succeeded. Why would she do this to me? Why? You know nothing, do you, boy? You're just a foolish child messing with forces way beyond your ken. You're dead. You just haven't accepted her gift yet. And I've been cursed to bear your essence. The two of you. Parasitic scum, tarnishing my being like disease-ridden ticks. Alorna knew I would always side with Solon. She must be planning to take over. Damn it! I must warn my master before it is too late! Oh, damn. So we just basically got a mission with this guy. Okay. The, the big guy that we have to warn with him. So the guy he just said we need to go warn him. It's his mission to go kill him. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to block his attack and then we're going to do a sink attack on him. takes a while. Switch quick. Did the sink is the sink attack going off? I think it is. Yeah, that's, I think that's working. I think all we have to do... Let me look again. I'm pretty sure all we have to do is switch during the attack. Perform a morph while attack. Oh, now I'm hitting Y while attacking. I think that counts, though. That should count. Yeah, okay. I need, I need to keep an eye on my bar and really make sure this is working how I think it is. The combat's a little slow and clunky, so that that makes it so the it's a it's a sometimes a little hard to register what exactly is going on when both hits are being traded at the same time. It's morphing time. It's mighty morphing time. Uh oh, is that? I just get. No, I think we're good. Didn't get sued. Can you move your characters to a different slot to check synergies? I tried to do that earlier. I don't think I can move them yet. Like if I select one, I, I if I select, it doesn't actually do anything yet. So I think I need to like, I think I need to get more guys first. Yep. Are oh, you saying now you can? Hold on. No, man, I don't think so. No. I missed a tutorial for it? Conflicts will grant unique buffs and debuffs. Synergies will grant unique buffs. Manage conflicts and synergies by adjusting your bound essences composition at the phylactery. That's what we have to do. So we have to do it at a bonfire. Goo goo. Thanks, chat. Oh. This looks quite a bit better than other indie souls. I mean, this, this game feels good. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's working. Like, everything about this game is working right now. Nice little shortcut back at the beginning. Even the world is pretty interesting. Like, the characters seem pretty cool. 
um, they're, they're really setting this game up for something interesting because by having this character going to kill the same character, the same person this character is trying to warn to save, like, I wonder if we're going to see actual meaningful character progression in this game. Like, I, I wonder if they're going for, like, a like a real story, not just, like, some half-assed normal Souls world development thing that we get. <laughs> so, that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm, that's kind of cool. Fifty percent critical bonus. Huh. Yeah, I, I I don't know which one I want. It the bad things aren't necessarily bad, so it's like that's interesting. It's just like it's like an an, an extra little passive system. It's wild. All right. Chat, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm sitting next to a generator for one of that sound. I'll be right back and then we're gonna go from there. One sec, guys. By the way, while I'm gone, make sure to click the link in the deathbound command. It's good. Back in a sec. Okay. Thank y'all for sitting tight there. I appreciate it. Cool, cool. Hey, Mindful Slim, how are you? So, real quick, before we break out here, um, I do wanna give one more big special shout out to our friends. At Tate Multimedia. This is Deathbound. This game is available right now on co.tv slash deathbound if you want to check it out. Uh, it is a Souls-like that is trying a lot of new things. Um, seemingly has a pretty interesting world. It is a little indie janky. Just keep that in mind. Um, but it's doing some really cool stuff. It's doing some really cool things. So if you are looking for kind of a more forward step in the Souls-like genre, this may be something to check out. Oh, also as chat saying, thank you for this. Uh, definitely, definitely keep this in mind too. There is a demo, don't forget to mention that on Steam. So go try the demo and see how it feels. And apparently it comes out in an hour. So that's a great time to go check that demo, see how the combat feels for you, and then pick it up if you like it. But anyway, thanks again to Tate Multimedia. Again, uh, if you want more information, code out to me hey, slash deathbound. And thank you guys for that. Awesome. Great, great, great. Will we be returning to this game? Maybe. If I if I was not playing Terraria and Seven Days to Die right now, then I would probably be doing more of that. Was that sponsored? Yes, it was sponsored. Yep, that was a sponsored stream. I tried to make that very clear from our friends at Tate Media. I feel like I said that about 30 times. Uh, Tate Multimedia. So thank you to Tate Multimedia for sponsoring the last two hours of the stream.